Hey and welcome to MFFL TV. I'm your host Dylan and today we got the man Bovan joining us. We're just going to do a quick Dallas Mavericks rebuild in NBA 2K21. Sort of just want to do a somewhat realistic one this time and in the future I do want to eventually get into just a fantasy build a super team with the Mavs. So in this I'm going to try and do that I think the Mavs will make. But before anything, like and subscribe, it really does help out the channel. And let's get right into it. So this is the roster here. I just, I just downloaded a custom one and I had to make a few changes. Reggie Bullock, his perimeter D was at like a D minus. And I was like, that's no. So I boosted it up to A minus. I think he's a very good defender. And I think D minus is just ridiculous. Um, as well, Porzingis went down to like 83. I boosted him up a little bit just so that we can have a shot at least, you know, hoping Jason Kidd does his magic. Looking at the rotation, this is sort of what I predicted as well. Uh, Luca, Bullock, Hardaway, Finney Smith, and Paul Zingas at the five. Personally, I'd have Tim Hardaway as the two. Doesn't really matter for this sake. Um, so those will be the starters. Of course, Jalen Brunson's going to be the sixth man. Moses Brown, I guess, is going to be the backup big. And then you got Kleber. Powell. First thing, I'm going to get rid of Powell's minutes, give them to Sterling Brown just because I think we need a backup wing. So I'm going to put him into the rotation. But before we get into simulating the first season, need to make at least one move, right? Before we get into the video, just a quick heads up. I do realize I went back to saying Dragic instead of Dragic. Um, so don't hate me. I honestly didn't even realize I was doing it until I edited the video. So I will try and correct that next time, but enjoy the video. We still have a shot of getting Dragic, so I'm going to try and see if we can bring him to Dallas. This is the first package I'm going to try and send. Don't expect them to accept this, but let's see. We do have way too many centers, and I don't think we really need Trey Burke at the moment. So let's see if the Raps accept. Of course they don't, but they do counter. Um, second round pick and Carlick Jones. I'm willing to accept that. Let's get our boy Dragic in. Alrighty, so now we've got Goran Dragic. Let's add him into the rotation and see how we go. Okay, so we've put Dragic into the lineup. I'm going to come in off the bench with the second unit, sort of have Brunson and him as the two combo guards just to carry that second team. Because I think, you know, him coming into the starting lineup, it's not really a need at the moment. We do have Luca, and I don't know if he's really going to be able to guard other teams' point guards. And I think we can just be better off with... Bullock and Hardaway filling out the other positions with Luca at the point. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it there. Um, I don't think the Mavs are going to make many moves, so I thought I'd just leave it with the Dragic trade for at least the first season. Just going to sim, see how we do, and I'll see you at the end of season one. Wait, hold up. Just before, I'm turning injuries off. I don't want, you know, we need pausing as healthy. Let's just hope, you know, everything goes well next season and see how we do. Okay, end of season one, we end up as the seventh seed. Um, honestly, the entire simulation were around the 11th, 12th, so I thought this was going to go horrid right from the start. Personally, I, th I predict us being a lot higher than seventh. However, you know, 2K is not really showing us any love. Let's see the season awards. So Jokic won MVP, Cade Cunningham won Rookie of the Year, Scotty Barnes, Sixth Man of the Year, Giannis Defensive, Mitchell Robinson Most Improved, Tyron Lue as Coach of the Year, and... Don't really know about that. We get our man Luca in All-NBA first team. So love to see Dallas represented there. Do we get anyone else? Not that I can see in the defense team. <laughs> Probably not. Um, and obviously we don't have any rookies. So playoffs. Let's see how we go. We are coming up against the Lakers who are rocking with Westbrook, Monk, LeBron, Davis, and Dwight Howard. Um, they ended up getting Robert Williams the third, so don't know how they did that. Looks like they got rid of Mello, but let's simulate this and see how we go. Did we just win a playoff series? I didn't even know that was possible. We end up beating the Lakers in five. Um, so, you know, Jason Kidd's first season maybe wasn't the greatest seeding, but did pull an upset. Now we're going up against Utah, seeing how they're going to look. They got Conley, um, so they're looking pretty similar. Uh, they did end up getting PJ Tucker and Taj Gibson. So those are the two additions. 
Let's sim this. Maybe we can sneak into the Western Conference Finals. <laughs> okay. Look, if this happens in real life, I am not complaining. I just did not expect this. You know, I thought as the seventh seed, we'd get knocked out probably from round one again. We're sort of used to that. Um, but we're going up against Phoenix. They seem to have pretty much the same team. Um, so, can we do three in a row? Let's see how we go. Okay. Look, Western Conference Finals for the first time, I think that's pretty good. So, going to go into the offseason, see if we can make a couple different changes and see how we go. Okay, so look, I haven't played 2K in a while. Not really sure what I did, but just hide another assistant and head scout. Um, so we got Jason Kidd, keeping him. You know, he got us to the Western Conference Finals. Not going to get rid of him. So here we are, just going to accept all the options on Moses Brown, Kleber, and Josh Green. Want to keep them. Don't see them going anytime soon. Only really thought Kleber might go for marketing. But he didn't, so he's going to stay with us for the meantime. Okay, so don't really know what the problem with 2K is. We apparently don't have the bird rights for Jalen Brunson. So the best I can offer him is 3.17 million. Doubt he's going to accept this, but if he does, hopefully we can bring him back. Otherwise, we're going to have to look for a better backup point guard slash backup shooting guard. So, yeah, we annoyed him. Uh thought so. Uh, so we're going to lose Jalen Brunson. One move we're going to make is try and bring in another backup point guard. However, Goran Dragic is a free agent as well, and we are going to try and re-sign him. Hopefully he does come back. And as well, going to try and bring in Dorian Finney-Smith. Um, don't know what he wants, but let's say just under 10 mil a year, sort of like that Reggie Bullockish deal. Well, hopefully he signs that as well. Okay, perfect. So both Goran Dragic and Dwayne Finney-Smith agree. So we've got both of them back. Um, try and maybe see what else we can do in the offseason. Uh, don't have much cap, so might have to make a trade. So we do have the MLE. Going to chuck some of it on Nicholas Batum and see if he bites. So let's see. Can we pick up Nick Batum? So we get Nick Batum. He's going to really be uh, helpful off the bench. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get him this offseason. However, I think we still got some more money. Let's try and make one more move. Next, just to have some more depth off the bench as well, going to try and go after Paddy Mills. You know, got to represent Australia somehow. And let's see if he accepts. Damn, okay. All right, so lost out on Paddy Mills. Can we maybe get a Ricky Rubio? Sort of just have that another playmaker on the team. Um, let's see. Going to try and give him a two-year contract, see if he bites on that. I'll give him a player option as well. Um, so let's see. Boom, we get Ricky Rubio. So sort of going to try and have him instead of that Jalen Brunson as with Dragic and Rubio now. And, you know, let's see if they can create enough for that second unit. <laughs> um, look, just for the meme, let's try and give Mikel Bridges the minimum for one year. It's one of the last days of free agency. Let's see if he bites. Yeah, okay, that's fine. <laughs> I wasn't expecting anything differently. Um, going through, is there anyone else we can get? Would Ingles be willing to come on for the vet min? Um, no. Just trying to see whoever's left. Um, would, say, maybe a Thomas Bryant be willing to come for a min? Um, I doubt it, but let's see. No, he's insulted. Who else can we insult in the league? Would Bobby Portis be willing to come for the min? Um, we'll make that a one-year deal. No, he's declined it. Um, I think we're just going to stick with this team then. We don't have any money at the moment. And unless if I can maybe move a couple players in a trade, I think that's pretty much going to be it. Okay, first change I'm making this season, I'm going to move Paul Zingas to the 4. He does get a 3 overall upgrade, so we're going to try that out. And as well, let's see if Tim Hardaway Jr. does any better as a shooting guard. No, he's the same overall, so I'm just going to keep him there. Does Bullock change if he moves to a, shooting, to a small forward? He moves up 1, so I'm going to move Bullock to the 3, Hardaway to the 2. As well, I'm going to move Goran Dragic to the backup shooting guard, play next to Ricky Rubio, have Rubio be the main facilitator, and have Dragic just come on and get buckets off the bench. Okay, so based on that, I'm going to give Porzingis and Doncic a few less minutes, try and rest them through the season, although I don't know if that really translates in 2K. 
However, I'm going to put Moses into the starting lineup, move Paul Zingas to the four. This might annoy a lot of Mavs fans out there, but Finney Smith will be coming off the bench now, and Moses Brown will be the starter. You know, he's 80 overall. Hopefully he can do some stuff. Um, so Dragic's going to be the main sixth man. Rubio's going to be in there with him. Our second unit is going to be Dragic, Rubio, Finney Smith, Batum, and Maxi playing small ball five. I think, you know, that's a pretty decent lineup, depending on the matchups, of course, but I think for the majority of the season, that should be okay. Starting lineup, Luka, Hardaway, Bullock, Porzingis, and Brown. Let's see if we can do better than the Western Conference Finals. Okay, season number two. We come fifth this time, so we've improved a little bit in the regular season. Jokic again winning the MVP. Quinton Grimes, Rookie of the Year. Um, oh, Rookie of the Year and Sixth Man of the Year, so that's a pretty good season for him. Giannis, Defensive Player of the Year again. Oh, Moses Brown, Most Improved. Look at that, averaging nearly 15, 11, and over a steal and a block a game. What an animal. Hopefully he can do that for us Mavs this season, or at least next season. So Tyron Lue again with the Coach of the Year, but let's see. Two years in a row, Luka first team All-NBA. Can't argue with that. Um, do we have any other Mavericks here? It's not looking like it, of course. Okay. So, again, Luka's the only one repping Mavs in the All-NBA teams. However, that's not really what's important. The main thing is the playoffs. So, again, we're going up against the Lakers in the first round. Um, so, they added Tyler Johnson, Otoru, TJ Warren... So they have made some pieces. They got Lopez, Cousins. Um, so let's see. Hopefully we can do the same thing as last season and just beat them. Um, let's simulate the round. Hopefully we can... Oof. So we win in seven against the Lakers. Hey, back-to-back -back seasons with a playoff win. A lot better than we've been doing so far. However, we come up against their old rivals. We just can't escape them. So they've got... Pretty much the same team. They oh, they brought in Clint Capella. Uh, I think that's going to be pretty dangerous. So they still okay. So it's pretty close to the same team, but with Capella, I think that's going to be a huge addition for them. Hopefully, we can finally beat this team. Come on, let's go. Um, <laughs> yep. Yep, that sounds about right. Okay. So we get swept. Who wins the playoffs? And the Raptors. Wow, the Raptors. Okay. Look, nothing even surprises me with 2K anymore. Um, I haven't played in a while, but some things don't change, I guess. So, you know what? I want to do one more season. Uh, this one, I'm going to try and make a few trades as well, try and, you know, improve this roster. So, we bring in Mo Cheeks as an assistant coach. Just thought that'd be a pretty cool signing, but really nothing too special. So, just going to keep simming. Hopefully, we can make some good moves in the offseason. With the options again, going to try and keep everyone has many plays on the team so that we can try and make some moves. We're going to try and bring back Maxi Kleber. Um, don't want him going anywhere at least now. Maybe in a trade. And Boban, no chance he's going anywhere. Can I give him the max contract? If I could, I would. Um, let's just, you know, show Boban some love. I'm probably not going to be able to pick up anyone else in the offseason anyway. Let's see what they say. So boom, we get Maxi and Boban coming back. Perfect. Steven Adams is a free agent. Would he be willing to accept uh, some of the MLE? Maybe we'll try and bring him in. Sign for 5 mil. Would he take that? So we get Steven Adams as well as the backup center. As things stand, we got Luca and Rubio at point guard. Hardaway, Josh Green as shooting guards. Small forwards, we've got Batum and Bullock. Power forwards, Paul Zingas, Finney Smith, Maxi Kleber and Steven Adams and Moses Brown as center. So I might try and make a swing and get a huge backup shooting guard. Um, I know Josh Green's a 77, but I want to try and get someone else in there instead. I'm going to wait till February 5th to make a Maxi Kleber trade, just because we signed him recently. However, we're actually the number one seed, so you know what? I'm going to stick with how things are going. Sterling Brown has moved into the starting small forward. And so we got Finney Smith, Kleber, Josh Green, Batum, and Bullock coming off the bench. Um, Rubio's not getting any minutes. Sort of just let 2K decide what to do in the third season. Just to see if we can, you know, hopefully they know what they're doing. 
within the simulation. Hopefully we can get some better results. So it actually has <laughs> Doncic playing 48 minutes a game. Look, I guess injuries are turned off, so we're going to try and have to milk that a little bit, see how we go. Um, let's see how we do for the rest of the season, and hopefully we can finally win a chip. Um, we have been, you know, keeping it somewhat realistic. I don't think we've made that many crazy moves. So let's see, does 2K think Dallas is going to eventually win a title the way things are going? We finished the third season. Uh, we ended up coming third. We were pretty much coming first until that last game. However, Luka does get MVP. LeBron James Jr. gets Rookie of the Year. Josh Giddy, Sixth Man of the Year. Jonathan Isaac, Defensive Player of the Year. Bol Bol, Most Improved. Nick Nurse, Coach of the Year. And I don't know who the executives are. So, Luka again in the first team All-NBA. Do we finally have anyone else repping there at all? It doesn't look like it. Okay. So, can't complain with that. You know, we get the third seed. We end up going against Memphis. So, let's see how they're looking. They got Ja Morant, still Desmond Bain. They get Michael Porter Jr. Uh, that's going to be huge. So, they did lose Dylan Brooks. Xavier Tillman Sr. Jaron Jackson is playing center. Kemba off the bench. Okay. Um, Zaire Williams, who I accidentally called Williamson in that last video for some reason. Um, okay. So, they're going to be a tough team. They got Jason Kidd's guy. Uh, Michael Carter Williams. Let's see how we go against them. Simulate the round. And okay, we lose in the first round. Um, I think that's going to be it for me. It looks like 2K doesn't think we're going to win a championship the way things are going. Uh, stay tuned. I will do a rebuild where I try and just go all out, um, build a championship team, make some crazy trades, just some fun in the off season. But as again, like and subscribe, it really does help out the channel, and I'll see you in that next video.